Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome into an exciting afternoon show here today. Oh, I got to tell you, man, this is huge for St. John's County. Huge. It really, really is. So honored. A lot of Black Molly fans oh, out there. It's the best. Um, and boy, we are so excited about this new location. Absolutely. Opening up right there by 312. And uh, I know a lot of other people who are as well. The one thing my family can agree on is that really? we all... Love Black Molly. <laughs> wow. That is an absolute hard thing to do when we come to the table at Black Molly. Yes. You guys need some therapy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's called Black Molly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I love it. Oh. Um, so we're going to talk to Kate Torboli here today uh, about the reopening, the grand reopening at their new location out there. Very, very exciting. They got some new stuff on the menu. Oh, yes, sir. We got a lot to talk about. Okay. A lot to talk about. I'm excited. Let's get right into it. We'll start off by telling you about our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln, who we actually absolutely love huge supporters of so many things in our community and they're celebrating 75 years in our community serving the northeast florida area bozard ford lincoln is here for you you can experience their extensive selection of new and pre uh, pre-owned vehicles mm -hmm. there we go quick and quality servicing and their parts and accessories shop kate was a little bit nervous coming in yeah i can't even say the script that i've been reading for a year yeah. so uh, she has nothing to worry about two, two years, two years, <laughs> two, two years. <laughs> okay yeah well thanks for making me feel worse i guess that's the jab back for the therapy comment oh, huh? there it is. Yes. <laughs> there we go. great parts and accessories shop and uh, you can grab a great signature burger over there at ford's garage while you're there they do uh, everything at bozard ford lincoln from home delivery to company fleet servicing and they're going to expand their servicing as well. At Bozard Ford Lincoln, your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. New neighbors out there for the Black Molly, the Bailey Group. Hey, <laughs> love it. Uh, the Bailey Group provides custom solutions for happy, healthy employees. Building the perfect plan to attract high-performing, loyal employees can be hard. Making sure that plan meets legal, regulatory, and other requirements, that's even tougher. You need a program that's customized specifically for you, not something that's just off-the-shelf cookie cutter. Uh, one that's designed for your size, your location, your number of employees, your demographics, your type of business. That's where the Bailey Group comes in. They bring all of that into focus for you, making it clear and easy to understand. Um, so you have confidence that uh, you are choosing the right company to work with you and the right people people to work with you, the right locals to work with you. Right. Give them a call, uh, set up an appointment with them. It's super easy. And you're going to really be glad that you did. 904-461-1800. Speaking of being glad you did something, how about our friends at Elace Med Spa? Chica -chica. If you're looking for a relaxing and rejuvenating experience, you don't have to look any further than Elace Med Spa, formerly Ah Mara Med Spa. At Elace, they specialize in providing their clients with a range of luxurious spa treatments and advanced medical aesthetic procedures. Whether you're looking for uh, unwinding with a hydrofacial or to enhance your natural beauty with things like Botox, dermal fillers, laser treatments, contouring, uh, anything you can imagine, they got it down there at Elace. Elace is the place that will save your face. Mm, mo, mo. Not that your face needs saving. Well, you never know. You, well, you never know, but you want to keep it keep it looking good for it's many, many years to come. It's your calling card. It's your business card. Old yes. age hits you fast, as right. I'm realizing after my 40th birthday. Snatch Just, your cat back. That's oof, it. Boy. <sighs> Elaine <Elise> Med Spa, <laughs> 2100 A1A South, Suite 2, or visit them at elace.com. Chica chica. It's not that didn't fly either. I know I'm working. I uh, wasn't the worst one. Okay, they changed <laughs> up their name, so we're trying to figure out. We used to be the ah uh, guys with the right. Mara Med Spa, so now we're trying to figure it out. So I the audience. That was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> we got to find something just as fabulous here moving forward. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is good. That is good. That might be it. That, that, might be could, it. that could be it. The famous song on that one, so oh, we can look boy. that up later. <laughs> 
Kate Torboli, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Oh, so much fun this morning already. Thank you for yes. coming in. I don't know how you made time. It must be crazy over there oh. getting the new building up and running. You guys had a soft opening recently, we right? We did. We invited friends and family and business partners, and it was awesome just to kind of get the kinks worked out before we of opened course. on Monday. Yeah. Um, it was great. It went great. Got some great feedback. So we opened Monday, and it was we had a line of people waiting at the door at 11, oh, which is cool. a blessing. So we are so grateful to be that's... open and back in business. So tell me the story yeah. of Black Molly. How did this all come about? What what made you get into this crazy venture? So my husband, Ryan, he started as a dishwasher, okay. like at 15. Like one so of the many local, of us? Yes, yeah. so many of us. And um, then worked his way at Barnacle Bills for a long time oh, yeah, here in St. Augustine. Yeah. Then did, worked at uh, Muscle Whites in Palaco, which is where I met him. Okay. And then we both went to Carabas, and that's where we met, met Jason. Okay. Hamilton, a local St. Augustine guy. And we're like, we do all this for Carabas. I think we could do it for ourselves. So they decided to take a chance. And with the help of Jason's mom, we opened Black Molly at 504 West Jeffrey. And everybody's like, this is the worst time. You shouldn't do it. Oh. And it was really scary at the beginning. And then... The support of the locals really just set us apart and we were on our way. Um, and we knew we always wanted to have our own location. So once we found the property on uh, right in front of Antigua on 312, we took another chance and here we are, brand new building and happy to be taking care of people at the new spot. That's so, so the exciting. The name Black Molly, like do you have any insight on like how that came <laughs> about? Right. Yeah, yeah, there's no fancy story. Right, I'm like, really? it's not on the no. menu, right? <laughs> so you just right. picked two words so out of the picture. and Jason <laughs> love the idea of having like a color and a fish, but being a seafood restaurant primarily, you know if you didn't have grouper on the menu or snapper on the menu, somebody would say, well, your name is the Red Snapper. Why don't you have oh, yeah. Snapper? Oh, well, sure. yeah. So that became a thing. And Jason had a friend who was a graphic designer, and he said, what about the Molly fish? It's an aquarium fish. You never can eat it, but it has a great shape. So he Ooh, sent us the logo with the this. black and then the Molly written out in the shape of the Molly fish. It wasn't already taken as an LLC, so we were like, we love it. This is it. Awesome. I love that story. Okay. That is so Boom. good. <laughs> So good. So what has this process been like mm. uh, as far as moving? Um, did it go as you expected? I have to imagine there were some bumps in the road. Lots of bumps Lots that of were bumps. unexpected. Yeah. Um, it was longer than we expected the break, but we are thrilled that our staff came back and held out. We had everybody return except two people, so we thought that was great. That says a lot about the way you guys run a business. We are not, I don't wanna cry because I'm a crier, <laughs> um, but we are who we are because of our people. And, yeah. and that's really it, the people that interact with um, our guests every day and the people in the back that really care about making the food look good and making sure it's right when it comes out. Without them, we would not be here. So really, it was a challenging, process to get to where we are. And we are thankful that everybody, um, all of our people waited for us and came back with us so that we could keep doing what we're doing. Now, was it hard That's to per per perfect a lot of the great recipes that you made in the other establishment into this new one? Like, were the ovens different and the stove, you know what I mean? Like, how did you guys train for this? <laughs> okay, so I cannot speak for the back of the house, but I, th what we, what I do know is we have all brand new equipment that actually works. So it might even be better. For hey, the that's a good thing. <laughs> because before the ovens didn't work, oh. sometimes they didn't temp out right, and Pat would burn cheesecakes, so and oh. that was a whole mess. Everything I've heard from the back has been nothing but wonderful. They awesome. have all the space, all the nice new things, and that's working great. Jonathan and I are, and the other bartenders are trying to work our way through the new bar space. Love it. It's bigger. We tried to make it like, oh, we have two sides, but our brains don't function that way. So we keep going to the same side. So uh -huh. we're trying to work through that process, but we'll, we'll get to it. We're going to keep slinging drinks and get your happy hour out quick. Um, despite it being a little hairy back there right now. <laughs> that happy hour is world famous, Pete. Like that mm -hmm. is the best happy hour in town for, for sure. What is it like 11 to six? You said? 11 to six and it's everything. House wine, draft beer, all cocktails. You can get any type of alcohol on two for one. It doesn't matter yes. the brand. It's not well brands only. It is all the brands, Grey Goose, Crown, Patron, everything you can think of Love under that. the sun from 11 Ooh. to 6 every day. That's all day. Mm -hmm. that That's the whole day. day. That's awesome. That is all day. So what else makes you guys different from some of the other establishments around town, you think? We make everything in-house. We make the salad dressings, the soups, the pasta sauces. We make the honey butter. I think oh, that makes yeah. a big difference. 
Um, also just, I, and I go back to our people without our staff and the care that they have, it's more like a family than just a job. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of those people I just think about as an extension of my family yeah. and our family. So I just really think it's the people and the service we try to provide and we try to make it not like we're not order takers. We're trying to give you an experience and mm -hmm. make you feel like you're cared about more than just like, Hey, come in and have our food, you know? And so that, that resonates cool. with locals so much just because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, don't know where you want to go to eat, but that was always the first option out of our mouths. We're like, let's go to Black Molly. Because it's just, right. it was yeah. so good. The price point's always fantastic. And we really you know? tried to keep the price point the same, even though, you know, people are like, oh, you're going to be in a new building and you're going to have to raise prices. And, you know, even through COVID, we were losing money on steaks, but we tried not to raise prices during that time. And this God was just it, yeah. like a dollar or two on some of the items. So mm. we really want to stay in that price point so everybody feels like it's a place that they can always come to, not just a special event place. Mm -hmm. And, and so I love that you guys aren't tucked away in the back of a parking lot, too, now. Right? You know, yeah. you've got your own space. You're we right there a, on the road. And we have a beautiful outdoor patio now that faces the Fun. water. Okay. Um, but <laughs> the great thing about that is that uh, we have a beautiful breeze. So once we get all the staff. That's what we want. Oh, it's so nice out there. So once we get all the staff trained, that's going to be a great spot to just hang out, have cocktails, mm -hmm. have food. So I can't wait to have that open. That's everybody. exciting. So exciting. So let's make people hungry. What are some of your most popular dishes? What do people really love over there? And then... You guys have added a few new things at this location too, right? So I would say our top selling item is our ribeye, the char crusted oh, ribeye. Yeah. Steve Chapman from All American Air taught me how to have this ribeye. You have to have it Pittsburgh style, seared on both sides. I'll oh. never forget the lecture I got. This is way too, David. I love that man. So cool. Um, also, daddle style anything. So we put goat cheese in our homemade daddle pepper jelly on um, our daddle chicken, but really it's great on our pork chop, it's great on our steaks. <laughs> Some people do it on salmon, so I say that's super popular. And then all of our fresh catch and fresh sauces are awesome. Oh, I haven't tried that on the salmon. That sounds like a good idea. It is so good. Daddle style anything, I recommend. We could put it on a burger, too. That's really good. Really? Yes. We have the crooked daddle has the feta and then the daddle dust, which is delicious. Mm. But if you do the burger, the goat cheese, and the daddle jam, Perfect. Nice sweet heat to it then. Nice yeah. sweet heat. Cool. Um, we do have uh, marsala now on the menu. We can do chicken marsala, a filet marsala, sirloin marsalas, um, pork chop marsala that's delicious, and then oh, a cool. spicy daddle pepper <clears throat> pimento cheeseburger served with caramelized onion and bacon. So that had to be on there. That's amazing. Okay, guys, interview's <laughs> over. I need to go eat there now. <laughs> we're all taking off, and we're all going to have lunch over there. <laughs> What are you looking forward to? What are you most excited about at this new location? Just doing what we're doing. It, yeah. Being off for a month and a half was hard. I like yeah. we like taking care of people, and I'm happy to get back to that. The hustle and bustle is nice to see people coming in to compliment you, tell you how proud they are of you. Because we have some people that have been with us for 12 years, and they've sent flowers, bought plants, told us cool. how happy they are that we're back open. And that just feels like you're doing something. Yeah. So we're just excited to continue that for 12 more years and on, you know, as long as we can. It's so. like our local cheers, you know, everybody. I really, that's how I feel at the bar yeah. with our guests. We yeah. have the regulars, you know, and yeah. we had to tell them they couldn't get names on their seats, but that we love them. <laughs> I love that. They wanted names and we loved them, but that wasn't going to work because I'm not finding other people for your cheers. I hear you. Yeah, sure, yeah, that bar yeah. Is yeah. Too. <laughs> that's awesome. But that says a lot, you know, it says, I mentioned it says a lot about the way you guys run a business that all your employees came back. And it says a lot about how you guys serve people that you have so many of those great regulars that just love coming back time in time again. It's just so impressive what you guys do. I'm so excited and so happy for Thank this new chapter. And I appreciate chapter. you inviting me on to talk about it. Of That's course. So awesome. I know how I, you got to be so pressed for time. So I'm so glad that you could come Thank in and, and fill I us in a little away bit. from school today. I know okay. you were so good. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, where can people find you? Give us the address, give us uh, social medias, yeah. uh, website, all that good stuff. So we are on Facebook, so you can find us at The Black Molly Grill. We are okay. on Instagram, The Black Molly Grill. Um, also, our new website is being launched in the next couple of days, and you can either type in The Black Molly or The Black Molly Grill, and it'll generate. So both oh, cool. of those. Um, just because we were having some issue with people wanting to say Black Molly Grill or just The Black Molly, so we've 
connected the two. So whatever you type Black you Molly, go. whatever, it will pop up <laughs> the right website. All right. Um, and we are at 265 East Marina Cove Drive at the base of 312 in front of the Antigua subdivision. We're kind of sandwiched in between 312 and that subdivision. And you can see us from the road. Nice, nice, easy it. parking too. That's great. Yes, and the bank, um, Barwick Bank has been wonderful. They're going to allow us to have some overflow parking after hours over there. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, so they've been a wonderful partner to have too. So Quick question, awesome. now that you guys are open, how long long is that wait looking like uh Ooh. i know i heard some people like i'm gonna wait for it to die down a little bit and then i'll go i don't think it's ever gonna be dying down baby so like <laughs> what i do think you... last night we were about at 45 minutes okay that's normal that's it's fine. normal and come gra grab a drink from us we have a nice little area where you can have drinks and uh, order an appetizer so we're trying to figure out that out that with the bartenders like how to get this we have like a little stand-up area so we mm -hmm. can serve you cocktails and an appetizer while you wait we will keep you happy and fed it is and always don't worth bother the wait. Jonathan with all this extra. It will not be, jo it will not be Jonathan's duty. <laughs> okay. He's not going to take on that duty. I just want him to have a nice experience here. It's a new <laughs> building. We are trying to cater to Jonathan. Okay, good. His Thank needs. you. Absolutely. I know that is not what he wants He's to do. My hometown do. hero. Okay. <laughs> always worth the wait. Kate, always. thank you so much. Thank so excited so much for Black for Molly. Thank you so much for me. I appreciate it. Back it was left. a pleasure. Thank pleasure you. Pleasure having you. Amazing lady. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So excited. Bro, so pumped. Dude, it's so cool. I'm so excited for our town dang I it i know this is so good this it's is a really so good great, addition man. yeah so great so, so good. exciting <laughs> All right, man. Speaking of excitement, our friends at uh, Old Town Trolley. How about that? Hey. You can grab on a train and excite yourself. That didn't sound great. Let me try again. <laughs> you can hop on a train and be excited Woo! about viewing uh, St. Augustine and our sights and sounds. And make sure you get that hometown pass at hometownpass.com. That's going to allow you to ride totally free mm -hmm. when you bring a guest who pays. It's very, very easy. Hometownpass.com. Hey, Floridians, let's talk about something we take very seriously mm -hmm. uh, and stakes, air conditioning <laughs> and heating. Uh, Steve Chapman's All-American Air has been around for 45 years. They've been the AC hero of St. Augustine and beyond. We're talking St. John's, Flagler, Duval, and Putnam counties. They're not just experts. They're the cool cats of warranty and non-warranty service. They have preventative maintenance agreements, new construction installations, and rocking high efficiency systems. From Lennox Wonders to the ultra-smart eye comfort thermostat, Ooh. they've got all your HVAC products in sight. Give them a call today. Get on one of those maintenance plans. It's so turnkey. It's lovely. 904-461-0070. And of course, our friends at Bin 39, where you are definitely going to find your new favorite wine if you haven't already. Right. Lots of folks in our audience already have found their new favorite wine down there with our friends at Bin 39. A huge selection, over 85 wines down there, highly rated wines, and uh, just a great, great experience. If you have any questions at all mm -hmm. about wine, they are excited to answer your questions. Yes, you don't sir. have to go in and feel intimidated. Are they going to think I'm dumb? Are right, they gonna... no. No, they love talking wine. They right. love helping people find wine. Um, and you can just go down there and sip on a glass. You can mm -hmm. sip on a glass or two, or you can take a bottle home, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. Uh, Bin39, give them a call, see what they got in store for you. 904-827-5740. All right, horoscope time. Wah. Nah. Mm. <laughs> we'll make it quick. Let's get this rolling, Clay. <laughs> Scorpio and Sagittarius on deck. Scorpio, channel your inner detective. Mistrust everyone and forgive no one. Oh, perfect. <laughs> your day is looking as bright as a candle in a hurricane. <laughs> God, <laughs> Lee, that was brutal. Sagittarius. Your adventurous spirit leads you to the fridge and back. Oh boy. Today the journey is short, but your complaints will be long and legendary. Mm. All right, moving on. All right, just a reminder everybody, the beloved annual fish fry is going on with the St. Augustine Boating Club. Hey, they were established in 1948, did not know that. Wow, long time. Long, yeah. So the fish fry is March 23rd, this happened 11.30 to four o'clock p.m. The menu includes fried fish, hush puppies, Menorcan baked beans, coleslaw, and assorted drinks, all for 15 bucks. Desserts will be available, uh, dine-in or pickup by land or by boat. Get Ooh. ready to dive into the sea of delicious deliciousness with them. Uh, bring your appetite tight and join them for the feast fit for seafood enthusiasts get your tickets at st augustine boating club.com and i will put that link in comments for everybody oh thank you sir yes hey the women of vision of flagler college invites you to help them make a splash in the ninth annual power of the purse this event is featured a silent auction live auction and luncheon and showcase a resort wear fashion show this is hosted by the beautiful white room in downtown st augustine it's the event of the season and you 
won't want to miss out. Check out the power of the purse. Women of Vision Flagler College. I'll put that in comments for everybody. Oh, it's almost Derby time. Save the date, May 4th, 2024, 4 to 8 p.m. This is the 12th annual Derby run. This is happening at the world famous Tringali Barn. Uh, of course, that's 7310 US 1 South. Check that out. That's uh, proceeds to benefit community hospice and palliative care. They have helped so many families in this area. So this is a really important nonprofit to rally around. Check out the derby.foundationcares.org. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you're going to thank yourself when you visit our friends at Panache because you're going to walk out of there looking and feeling like a million bucks every single time. Uh, Panache opened in 1987. They've been doing this a very, very long time. Experts in the field, and they are uh, they're trusted by so many people. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about return customers. Jeez, people <laughs> yeah. just love our friends out there at Panache. And speaking of love, the love your mother fashion show coming up April 27th out yes, there uh, at Blue Water Jewelers. That's going to be very, very exciting. It is the most amazing fashion show you've ever participated here yeah. in St. Augustine. Like Davey's going to be the MC. You yeah, love this. Man. Yes. It is awesome. It's a lot of fun out there. Um, so make sure you check them out. Get posh and go to getpanache.com. And when the United Way of St. John's opened in 1957, it was known as the Community <laughs> Chess. Well, that's when they raised about 48000 bucks. Well, let me tell you what. They have uh, gone over Three million dollars annually that pumping back into services into our community. They continue to fight for the areas of health, education, and financial stability of every person in our community. They actually serve both Putnam and St. John's County. United Way is the only organization that brings us together to focus on the community problems that matter the most. Check them out. Volunteer your time. UnitedWay-SJC.org. All right, man. How are we putting a Putting an exclamation point on the show today. I'm finding some great memes out there. These are beyond relatable memes. Okay. First one here. Me sitting and doing nothing because I have too many mm, things to do. Yeah, yeah I know that feeling. Yep. <laughs> Next one. Finally found a piggy bank the size of my savings. Hey, <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect yeah, yeah, I love it. Right That's actually, uh, there'll be some extra room in there after yeah. my savings are in there. Next up, I just want to let you know, when I type, I'm ducking mad, this is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Next up, me watching what I predicted unfold after everyone told me I was crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, been yeah. there, been there. Next up, enjoy it. These are the best years of your life. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next up, mm, how am I supposed to lose weight when the best part of life is food? That's a great question, That's Kermit. A very good question, yeah. Kermit. Next up, me and my friend hop on the elevator to heaven and it starts going down. <laughs> oh, boy. What I dread that day. Yeah, yeah, Becky. Next up, so tell me more about yourself. Me trying to remember who I am. <laughs> Loading. <laughs> Loading. Next up, I literally can't hide irritation. I'll be like, nothing's wrong, but this be my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. man. I Impossible. Can't. can't hide. Impossible. Next you start up, feeling that smile go away. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like melts oh, away. Yeah. Yep. Next up, everyone talks about your inner child. I have an inner old lady who wants to say inappropriate things, judge everyone, and go to bed by 8 p.m. Boy. Yeah. If any of these memes has ever hit me personally. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> All right, man. Good stuff. Thank you for uh, wrangling a great show together here today. Thank you to Kate. Very excited for yeah. them and all of us, really. Uh, Clay for pressing all the buttons and you guys out there for watching. We love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.